my first graders. So today you're gonna have two pieces of paper. If you don't have two, your secondary color background and your skin color, that means you missed a class and I will get you caught up. What you're gonna do first is you're going to take the skin tone paper. You are going to see I traced a nice big oval on it. You are gonna take this paper and you are going to turn it like this. I want everyone to do that right now. Then you're gonna take your scissors and you are gonna do your best to cut a straight line from here all the way up here. And after we're done doing that, then we are going to stop and wait. Okay, now you are going to take this and you are going to cut it in half. Is this cutting it in half? No. Is this cutting it in half? No. Oh, this looks like half. Doesn't have to be exact. Now this is going to be your neck. So you're going to put that to the side. This we're going to cut our ears from, but we're gonna put that to the side for now too. Once everyone has cut their two squares, you're going to look up at me and I'll tell you when it's time to do the next part. Okay, so now we are going to cut out our head and we're gonna cut on the line the best that we can do. Then we're gonna throw this scrap out, but make sure you don't throw out that paper. And now we are going to be ready to glue. Okay, so I'm gonna save this for my ears and I'm gonna glue on what I already have. So I'm gonna start by gluing my neck on and I wanna line it up so it's centered. I also don't want a floating neck. I want it to go down to the bottom of the page. We're not gonna hold our page like this or we won't have space. We're gonna hold it tall and I'm gonna take my paper. I'm going to put a good amount of glue, wipe, wipe on the edges. Wipe, 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 wipe. We don't need to drip glue as long as we're wiping it on the edge. I like to put it all the way here. Okay, and then I can do maybe a X in the middle. Once I do that, I'm gonna flip it over, line it up to the bottom of my paper, and then we're gonna have to hold for a few seconds. So I want everyone to do that. When you're done gluing this, you're going to look up at me. Okay, now it's time to glue the head on. Are we gonna glue the head on like this? No, we're gonna glue it on like this, but we don't wanna glue it too high where we see these sticking out. We wanna glue it overlap it a little bit so that we don't see where the neck ends. So once you do that, you're gonna turn it over, wipe, wipe, and you're going to glue this on by putting glue on the edges and making an X in the middle. Once everyone has done that, you're gonna look up at me. If there's any part that's sticking up, you might need to put more glue and press down. Once I see everyone's heads are glued onto their neck, I will show you the next okay, step. Okay, so for our ears, you're gonna take your paper. You are going to cut it in half. Then you'll have two rectangles. You're gonna put this on top and then you're going to cut you could cut from this corner at the bottom. And it doesn't need to go up to the top. That would be too big of an ear. Just like that. And you could always make it a little smaller, but by holding those papers on top of each other, now I have two of the same shape. And I'm going to glue those on. They should go under your head if you could fit that. Let's 
adjust this a little bit. And press down. Once you're done with the ears, I'm gonna show you the last step that we're going to do today. When we're picking out our shirt, you are going to have lots of different fabrics to choose from, or lots of different pattern papers, I should say. So, when you choose your paper, we are only going to cut the corners, we can cut a little neck, and maybe we'll trim off the bottom, because right now it's a little bit long. When we cut the corners, you can make like a little triangle, see that triangle shape with your scissors, and you're going to curve that top. Then you're going to flip your paper upside down and do the other corners. See how I use my triangle, my scissors to make a triangle? Then I'm gonna curve that off. So now, if I would glue this on like this, it would be a little too big because I'm covering my face. So I wanna curve this. Now it could help to draw that and then cut it. So I'm gonna look at the line that I just did and I'm going to cut that off. Then when I put it down, it fits perfectly on top. So now I'm going to glue it on, and that is the last step. Some of you might have the same pattern on both sides. Some of you might not. Make sure we're wiping our glue and dotting it. Now I'm gonna flip it over. I'm gonna line it up to the bottom of my paper. Smooth it out. And now I'm ready for the next class.